right, so we just got to our booth, for lack of a better term. So we're in our temporary dwelling, and my, is it nice. Look at the fan up there doing its job. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Look how nice this place is. We're all lined up. There's my sister. And there's everybody else. Hello. We're joining you for opening night from afar. Almost sundown, so it's almost... Almost the start. All right. necessities in any feast house, whether it's your own house or your house away from a house. And that is cheese, and if you're over 21, wine, and chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> I just need some of it, right? Okay? I, I So we're going to go to Fred Meyers. It's going to be very fun, okay? I'll take you along. <laughs> It might be necessary that we buy both of these now. Gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based. See, it's healthy. Plants. Hey, bunny. How are you doing, bunny? He's your friend. I'm going to scare you and get out of the car now. Hello, bunny. Oh, you're not very scared of me. He's a brave bunny. Oh, no, he's a scary cat. So, Augustine looked at this and said, you know what? This can't mean that, it can't mean the thousand years of Christ on earth. And part of it was because people were describing it at the time, and he, he actually deals with their writings. We don't have their writings, but he deals with them. They were describing what the millennium will be like. You know, we've heard about the, the, the beast playing and everything, but all the servants Halfway through the feast and I am shopping with my mom! So I feel like this feast vlog is very fractured, but we're going on another adventure today. It's another, it's another day by the way. We're going to sisters, but first we're going to meet a friend for some coffee. 
or tea, depending on your preference. So we're getting into the car. Last night, we had the wonderful opportunity. Let me just tell you in the car. So last night, we had the wonderful opportunity of getting to go and have dinner with some friends. And they were very respectful about one, us wanting to stay socially distant and all safe with the masks and all that jazz. So that was very sweet of them and it was a really nice time. And they gave us very good uh, drinks. And that we got to hear all kinds of stuff about Disney princesses and coding and, and Minecraft. My little pony. <laughs> and Minecraft. All of which is welcome. Those, the kids were smarter than me. So, they're gonna go places. I'm gonna go get coffee. And that, that's, I guess that counts as a place, but that's only singular. But they're very smart and it was very nice. So we're gonna go on another adventure and then I'll show you some of the things. I'm, I'm horrible at remembering to vlog at things. So you, you'll see what you see and I don't care about you any less. So I figured I'd give like a little bit of an update because I haven't been really vlogging tons during the feast. It's been a weird feast, but then a good feast in different ways. We, you know, we were able to meet with some people, but it's not like the, like the hundreds that you're used to seeing going every day. So when you're doing it virtual, it's, it's this re weird sense of like, camaraderie and that um, normally you get the feeling of like oh we're all here together but this year it feels kind of like we're a scattered army that are preparing for how to be better Christians and it just makes me kind of excited to think about you know you get to watch more people than you're used to because when you're doing it remotely you know we we beam into more than one V site. And so you get to see, and then a lot of people are actually doing their own versions of vlogging, and a lot of people are doing a lot more social media this year in order to stay connected because, you know, everyone is scattered all over the place. There's a bunch of like micro V sites where there's not actually stuff being held, but, you know, there's a lot of like places people like to go to and rent houses or whatever. So it's kind of cool to just see everyone still be able to maintain their relationships long distance and just f learn. <laughs> this has been a, a feast of learning. I'm very thankful for everyone who put everything together, um, for all us remote human beings, because there's a lot of like uh, people giving feast greetings uh, either over Zoom or something else. Um, after church every day and then people at the feast sites come and say hello to the people who are remote which is really nice so um basically that's what this vlog is pretty straightforward i don't know if i mentioned it yesterday but i got a typewriter and i'm excited about it i don't know how to use it but um it's uh something i've wanted for a really long time and i i have a hard time with the everything your heart desires um phrase. I have a hard time justifying um, fun purchases, but that is one that I think would be fun because first of all, you can write um, letters to people who are sick. So that's one justification, but also I just love typewriters and I've wanted one for so long. And it was an antique shop and all of the things worked on it and it was so fun and I'm very excited about it, okay? So I hope you guys had a great week and if you don't know what the feast is, I hope you at least enjoyed watching the video and a thank you for watching. I keep looking at myself and not you guys, but you know... <laughs> I do what I can. Also, my hand is kind of shaky because I haven't had dinner yet, but we are going to go eat sushi. And by go eat sushi, we're going to go pick sushi up and bring it back to the house. But anyway, goodbye. I don't know if there's clips after this, but I hope you had fun watching. Bye. Small little stone that said our baby. So 1936 to 37, you think, what will be like? The parents will be resurrected and they'll be given their baby.
Wow, look at his house. Look at my sister in that dress. Yes. Look at the house and the I believe the tabernacles is to me, but you, I think, look at.